Hi, I'm Bill Wyatt, Executive Director of the brand new Salt Lake City International Airport, and I'd like to welcome you to the new SLC. The old airport looked kind of like this, like the palm of my hand and these fingers were the concourses. This design is linear. It's just like this, right? Two concourses with planes in between. So very, very different. Locals, I would say, um, have expressed some level of concern about the walking distances, which are considerably greater here. The big difference is that um, today, if you're an airport passenger, you come to the airport, you go through security, you go out to the central plaza, and then every single passenger turns left. They're either flying off of the western side of the A concourse, or going halfway down A, going down into a mid-concourse tunnel uh, to B. And so I find myself explaining why is that, number one, and what's gonna change in the next phase. The old airport was really built for airplanes that were way smaller than the airplanes we see today. Airplanes fall into one of five groups, one being the smallest, five being the largest. And the old airport was built for group one and two aircraft, and the new airport is built for these three. And so that really is what accounts for the huge increase in the gate hold areas that people will experience when they come to the airport. And the distance between A and B is as a result of having a plane tied up on B, one tied up here on A, and then two taxing in the middle. Now I've heard people say, well, gee, you designed the airport for airplanes. No, we built it for people and for planes because they go together. And that means that the arrival and departure times are much quicker uh, out of Salt Lake. You're gonna get where you're going faster. And if you're coming here, you're gonna be able to get off the plane and uh, depart the airport uh, much more quickly. So we moved from the old airport um, overnight into this facility and then began tearing the old airport down almost immediately. So we are operating the airport as an airport while we're building the second phase. And it's very challenging, although the planning for this has been done over really the better part of the last decade. And I would say the construction activities are going very well. But in the future, you'll go through security, you'll go out to the plaza. You're either gonna turn right and go down the east end of Concourse A, or you're gonna go left and go down the west end of Concourse A, or you will go straight down to a new central tunnel that will connect up with B. And so the walking distances for the vast majority of passengers here are really going to go down. The silver lining is twofold. Number one, help is on the way. The second phase is under construction, well under construction, and it arrives here in the not too distant future. And secondly, you're gonna see more competition and more service uh, which is really going to serve the needs of the community uh, of this entire valley and state for really the better part of the next century. Well, I hope I've been able to give you a better understanding of the design of the new Salt Lake City International Airport, and thanks for flying SLC.